May 26, St. Philip Neri. St. Philip Neri, known as the Apostle of Rome, was born in Florence on July 22nd in the year 1515. He was one of four children born to his parents. His father was a notary and his mother was from a noble but poor family. He lost his mother while still very young and it seemed he should have died himself when he was about eight or nine years old. He fell along with a horse onto a pavement from a certain height. Though the horse landed on top of him, he was entirely uninjured. He attributed his preservation to a special intervention of God, destined to permit him to dedicate his life to the service of God. Later, he fled from a prospective inheritance to Rome, where he desired to study. There, he undertook to tutor the two sons of a nobleman who offered him refuge. He studied philosophy and theology, and after a short time, seemed to need to study no longer. So clear were the truths of God in his mind. He always kept the Summa Theologica of St. Thomas Aquinas near him for consultation. This and the Holy Bible were his only books. Eventually, he set aside his studies and co-founded the Confraternity of the Most Holy Trinity, a society to care for the sick and poor pilgrims in Rome. At the age of 36, he was not yet a priest, and his confessor commanded him under obedience to receive holy orders, which he did on May 23rd in the year 1551. He became known for the gift of reading the thoughts of his penitents. This led to many conversions, and as the number of converts increased, he began to give regular conferences to them. With five initial disciples, among them the future historian and cardinal Caesar Baronius, he went on to found the congregation of the oratory they were known as the oratorians this group was approved in the year 1575 by pope gregory the eighth who gave them the ancient church of santa maria philip rebuilt the church on a larger scale and it became known as the chiesa nueva or new church the religious crisis that took so many providences from the Catholic Church in his time deeply affected St. Philip Neri. He suffered cruelly to see so many people being drowned in the waves of heresy. He attentively followed the maneuvers of Protestantism and planned a counterattack against a Lutheran work of propaganda known as the Magdeburg Centuries. This vast compilation was written to persuade readers that the Catholic Church had abandoned her early beliefs and practices. The multi-volume collection was filled with historical falsifications to prove its goal. To counter this fabrication, St. Philip wanted a complete work of scholarship to be written on the history of the Church from the time of our Lord Jesus Christ up to his own time. He ordered the work to be done by Caesar Baronius, who would succeed him as superior of the oratory in the year 1593, and then made cardinal in 1596. Baronius alleged that he was unworthy and lacked confidence for such a great work, but Philip was inflexible and ordered him under religious obedience to undertake the project. He spent close to 30 years to write it, from the years 1588 to 1607, covering the time up to the 12th century. This collection was called Annales Ecclesiastici, and it was completed after his death. The heresy felt the blow. The errors of the anti-Catholic Mockenberg centuries became evident as the work of Baronius eclipsed it. The Annales Ecclesiastici contributed most powerfully to stem the growing tide of Protestantism in Europe. From Baronius's work, the Catholic Church emerged as she always has been as the pillar of truth. On May 25, 1595, Philip, who was known for his good humor and infectious joy, was in an especially radiant mood. His doctor told him he hadn't looked so well in years. Only the saint knew his hour had come. He heard confessions all day and saw visitors as usual, but upon retiring, he remarked to those around him, last of all, we must die. Then, at midnight that day, he was seized by a severe hemorrhage. His disciples gathered around him, and Baronius besought him for a parting word. But unable to speak, the ardent apostle raised his hand and imparted a last blessing to his congregation before entering his reward. 
St. Philip Neri was 80 years old. His body is interned in the church of the Chiesa Nueva. Philip wished his spiritual children to serve God like the first Christians in gladness of heart. He said such was the true filial spirit expanding the soul, giving it liberty and perfection in action, power over temptations, and aid toward its final perseverance.